Welcome to a special episode of Victory. We have the Rams Victory brought to you by Bud Light. We got a special guest, Johnny Hecker. All pro. Johnny Hecker. Yeah. Or multiple all pro. Yes. Well, anyway. Uh, undrafted. <laughs> Johnny, what's up, buddy? Hey, guys. Four time all pro. <laughs> Come anyway. on. Hey, how you doing, Johnny? I'm great, man. I'm just happy to be here with you guys hanging out. Been a, nice. a lot of neon. Nice. Looking good, yeah. A lot of neon, a lot of neon. It does look good. John, the first thing I always like to ask, because we're old and we've been off the air so long, do you have any idea who Kevin Dillon is? Like, does, <laughs> does that, does his face register to you or not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you know yeah. the show then? Yeah, I know the show. Entourage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it's not the I Sopranos. Mean, way, more, it's not yeah, the Sopranos. Way, way more handsome uh, in, in real life and in this setting, for sure, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you look better on zoom Dylan you look better yeah. on zoom. Uh, yeah. so as we have uh, Kevin Dylan who's often late we know you weren't late because you were in uh, special teams practice but what goes no, on special when, teams meeting special yeah. teams meeting what goes on when it runs a half hour late like what's happening in there oh well, I mean there's a lot of moving parts you know if uh rosters are constantly you know in flux so you got to just spend extra time getting to know the guys that you're going to have and getting to know the guys that they're going to have up and um, just watching extra film. You know, our special teams coach is a real stickler for, you know, attention to detail. So you just got to make sure you're in there spending time. And, um, you know, these days are when you can really spend some extra time and gain that advantage come Sunday. He's a real stickler. Of course he's a real stickler, <laughs> like right? Connelly. What are you like Connelly. Yeah. Do you think he looks like Connelly, your coach, your head coach? I've been told I look like Sean McVay. I don't know. I'm not uh, – He's a little more buff than me, but yeah, you got to hit the gym, bro. Listen, he would be lucky to be. I think you know I'm a pretty decent lucky. Okay, he yeah, would I, be lucky. He would be lucky. <laughs> yeah. You see how humble he started, and then all of a sudden he's <laughs> trashing McVay. He's like McVay's nothing to me. So Johnny, let me ask you a question. Like, we have a million questions, but I, but right. I do have a big question of of strategy. Obviously, the punter position is hugely important because you can change the entire field position of the game mm -hmm. and also a fake punt. You obviously have to be ready for too, but what are you doing in a film study session that you have to know where you're like, listen, just let me kick the ball. What, what else do I need to know? Tell me, tell me some of the things that are those details for you. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, especially the, the nuance and like the, the small details that are, are, you know, involved in special teams, especially with, you know, a punt return unit when you're scouting them. Um, you watch, you know, what are their rush tendencies? What do they like to do? What side are they trying to pressure? Um, what areas of the field do they like to pressure? What areas of the field do they like to set up returns? Um, which way are the returns going? Are they going towards a certain player? Are they going towards their bench? Are they wind? Wow. Are they wind related? Um, you know, you look at it. So when you get yeah. out there, do you already have a plan of like, I want to kick to the left side, right side, or does the coach say something to you right before the kick or special teams coach, whatever? Uh, a bit of a bit of all of that, you know. If if there's wind howling in one direction, you're not going to try and fight it and go the other way. Um, but really, I mean, sometimes it's de it depends on what the punt return team's doing. If they're trying to really overload one side and and get you to punt the other way, then sometimes you have to. But uh, for the most part, you you come from the sideline with a plan, and then once you get to the field, we have the ability to change the direction. So um, really, it's just awesome. going with how often do you practice us. throwing? How often do you practice throwing? That's the question. Can you throw? Are you, are you comfortable? Oh, yeah. With a, with oh, yeah. yeah. I, I throw every day. You know, every day at practice, you know, I'm warming oh, nice. up with guys. And, um, yeah, I was a quarterback in high school, so I, I've got some, I got guess some fake that punts too. on you the field. I that. that. I said, I bet he was a quarterback. I was, yeah. Yep. So, so yeah, when a fun. fake punt comes in, though, <laughs> yeah. are you, is your personality more yes, or are you like, I better not screw this up? Or, like, what's your feeling when you haven't, obviously, you get one throw, one play? Yeah, it's a bit of both. You know, you, you definitely get excited because <laughs> you've been practicing it for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, you know, and, and you, when you, when the moment gets called, you really have to be able to go out there and execute. And you're only getting one shot. You know, there's no, you know, third down or fourth down coming up. You have the <laughs> right. one down to do it. So you better not throw one in the dirt or sail it over somebody's head. So, um, and, mm -hmm. and also there's like some body language to it, right? Cause you mm -hmm. have to look like it's a regular punt, right? Yeah. If all of a sudden you're look, looking a little nervous, like this guy's going to throw this. Well, you're not saying body yeah. language. You're saying you're acting, you're essentially you're performing. You're doing yeah. what Dylan sometimes has a hard time <laughs> well, doing. Well, you know? Connolly can't seem to do. <laughs> <laughs> so shot, how's the yeah. mood in the locker room right now? The team, obviously we're all hoping that, you know, it's a big year for the Rams. They feel great. Does it, does it change everything, you know, when you're winning or is it still every week is just business and focus like it's, you know, game one. 
Um, you know, you want to say it's all the exact same, but winning makes stuff way more fun. You know, I, I think mm-hmm. when you're in the meeting rooms after a win versus after a loss, you know, when mistakes are made or something happens, there's a bit more, you know, chuckles and, and guys kind of ribbing each other versus, you know, after losses, you got to be really hypercritical. And um, we definitely do our best here to make sure we keep things even keel and, and don't change our standards based on, you know, what the, what the outcome of the previous game was. But, um, I mean, it, it'd be, I'd be lying if I didn't say that winning makes things way more enjoyable and, and makes mm-hmm. kind of looking forward to coming into work the rest of the, the rest of the week that much more, you know, yeah, I mean, you just look forward to it. I, I have a ton of fun with the guys that we That's have here. Awesome. And, yeah. Hey, great. Johnny, uh, I see you're a captain. Mm-hmm. So are you a, a special teams captain? How many captains are there? I think we have six, seven, six or seven captains, a uh, couple on offense, a couple on defense. And then we, you vote on one special teams captain, um, and that's that's that, you. That's me. Yeah. So I've there yeah been a, been a captain that's, for eight well, years. All right. So I, I I have another question. So obviously we know one thing about special teams is obviously anybody that knows anything about football knows how important it is. But a lot of times you don't notice special teams until they make a mistake, right? It's yeah. Like it can go. It, it's easy for for them to you know I, we we were talking about the long snapper. What's your relationship like? with your long snapper. And I know it's, yeah, it's easy to say, well, it's, it's one job, but men, you know, you, you want to just stay off out of people's mouth. Ma- you want your name out of their mouth. If you're the long snapper, right? right? Yeah. That's what I was going to ask you guys. Like, I'm sure you all have favorite teams, but what can you, can you name your long snappers? For your no. teams you love? No. Yeah, absolutely not. Exactly. Not so until it goes flying over someone's head. <laughs> exactly. Not until they, not until uh, the TV throws right. that big close up of the guy, you know, who you haven't, you've never seen before. So the I, idea is to be invisible. Right? I could right. name our punter though, Sean Landetta. <laughs> great punter, good friend of mine. He's, yeah. he's no what longer our, he's no longer our punter. I think he's well, retired. Yeah, he was the punter. Punter. For Forty-five years. He's a Hall of Famer, isn't he? Hall yeah. of retired in nineteen. He's incredible. Sean Landetta was a beast. But, yeah. But Johnny, what is your relationship with your long snappers? That's something you got to really like build a chemistry or is it just re- repetition or what? Yeah, it's some of some of both, you know, I think it's, we're really lucky. You know, I, I played with a guy uh, before we just, he's not with the Cowboys, but I was with him for nine years. Um, you know, had a great relationship with him with Jake McQuaid. And then now we have Matt Orzek, who's a great, great young snapper, you know, kind of just getting his, you know, first real hold of a, of a starting job. You know, he's kind of bounced around a few other teams, but he works so hard. Um, and I mean, I'm with him all day. You know, we, like you said, we, you know, granted, this is one of the few times I've ever been, you know, stayed late for a meeting, but um, this is, <laughs> but for, for the most part, I mean, you, we're, we're killing time. Yeah. We're, Hit the long punt, the, the big bomb of a punt or that little, you know, back him up in the end zone, that short little, you know, put him inside the 10. Uh, why not? Why not best of both worlds? Why not bomb one inside yeah. the 10? Huh? Yeah. Uh, I would, I would take that. Yeah. I'd take a bomb that goes outside and inside the five. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. We were talking about the, the, the distance that these field goal kickers are kicking from these days. It kind of changes the punting game a little bit as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. To a certain extent. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, I mean, it changes where your, where your like starting line from where you're going to punt is, you know, a lot of teams, once you cross the 40 or once you get to the 40, you're not going to punt anymore. Um, you know, because field goal kickers are that reliable from 50, 55 plus they're, they'll send their guy out there and, and hit a deep one. But, um, you know, in the past guys were punting from the 35, 30 yard line. Um, that really messes with your, your numbers and your average, but, um, it, yeah, it, it does definitely does help your, your overall average to have a, a big leg kicker. Right. <laughs> yeah. I noticed that that's a big stat too. You want to be the longest punter. Yeah. And occasionally you got to hit that little short one. They shouldn't count those. <laughs> so outside of football, Johnny, like since we're sort of TV guys or we used to be TV guys, what, what are you watching? What do you like? What's the, uh, you know, what's the entertainment on the plane? Oh yeah, I, I did. I did watch squid games. Um, I watch, I watch a lot of food network actually. It's kind of a, uh, I really, I'm watching master chef nonstop uh, I okay. mean, it's on Fox, but it's great. Yeah. yeah so, so what are you watching on food network? Bobby Flay just left by the way. Yeah. Beat Bobby Flay. Um, I like to watch like right now it's like Halloween wars. Like all like the, I mean, right now it starts like the holiday gauntlet of cooking shows. You go straight from this to Thanksgiving to, to Christmas stuff. So um, I enjoy right. all, all those shows. And then I watch a lot of kids shows. My son is three years old and, <laughs> Um, SpongeBob. Yeah, oh, not he's not quite there yet. I, I wish, but um, yeah, look, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, Sesame Street is is rolling at the Hecker House for sure. <laughs> 
Okay, so when you when you punt off, I, it, who is there a guy that who's the guy in the league that every punter fears or you try to avoid? Is there anybody that jumps out at you? Uh, I mean, it was Devin Hester for the longest time. I mean, that kept oh, yeah, guys up late at oh, night. That's right. Best ever. Yeah, yeah. So I, I punted to him a few times. He actually he actually cribbed one against us in St. Louis that got called back on a penalty. Um, or else we would have been, yeah, just padding his career stats. But um yeah, he, he was Did a you guy. Did you try that, to get in there and stop him or do you uh, leave that one up? Oh, I didn't even touch him. No, he ran right past me. I was I was <laughs> stuck How do you in feel mud. about having to tackle occasionally? <sighs> I mean you you, you, you <laughs> get in the open field against somebody and and uh, the expectations of me are pretty low, so I like that freedom. But um, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely trying to get him to stutter his feet, buy some time for the rest of the athletic guys to come and get him. But um, I'm not, yep, yep. I'm not kidding. Right, you're just I'm trying to cut off himself. his angle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just get a get a body part, get a piece, make him stop his feet, get him out of bounds, use the sideline as your friend. Um, I'm not gonna kill anybody out here. I'm, I'm not that. I'm not that guy, pal. <laughs> well, I, yeah, you're not that guy. Do you know what he's talking about? Yeah. That that you're talking. About? Yeah, <laughs> I got that there one, Johnny. Go. It's a it's a, it's a viral clip. But it's it's the greatest thing of all time. Um, we'll have to look it up. You I will, don't know what it is. You will have to you so. will have to check it out. That's that's really uh that's interesting, man. We could talk about the special teams all day long. What what's your what do you think is your your biggest uh your biggest your biggest punt of all time in terms of big game situations? Oh man, um. Sheesh. I don't know. Wait, we had a fake really punt. Really stumping him probably yeah. with that What's one. your longest punt? Yeah. My longest punt, 74, 70 something? Wow. 76 maybe? Good. Man, By the way, that's longer than Connolly drives in golf. <laughs> <laughs> it was By the way, you're a golfer too, I heard. I do golf. Yeah, not well, but I do really enjoy to golf. Yeah, <laughs> good, then I, I I'll smoke it. you. We got to tee it up. Let's go. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah, you, you name the time right. and But place. you'll be able to smoke Connolly if it makes you feel I'm, any better. I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty good. Don't listen to these guys, yeah. Johnny. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Good. I'm not well, bringing anyway, any, Johnny. I mean, any big the bills. team is looking great. Yeah. We're hoping for big things here in LA and excited that, you know, you're getting to be yeah, on this, what seems, seems like it's going to be a fun year. year. So, yeah. you know, best of luck with it. And, and what, uh, a, what a great job to, to be able to, cause it's the career expectancy in the NFL is so short, but mm -hmm. to be able to be part of, of the league for as long as you are in that position, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible. I, I have no disillusions that I have the best job in the world. You know, there's, there's yeah, I, I think so too. The I think workload to, NFL uh, yeah. punters as good as it gets. It's so good. Yeah. I, I, I enjoy it. Coming to work every day is a real joy and you know, I'm not taking any day for granted. So I really enjoy you guys having me on here and appreciate it. And of course, yeah, of course. you guys thanks keep, for, keep thanks killing for it. Thanks for so much. Definitely. Johnny. Best of luck All with right. the season. I'll see you guys yeah. later. We'll, we'll see you, Johnny. Take it easy, bro. Wraps up this a special edition. Or I don't know what's happening with this guy. Rams victory with Johnny Hecker.